This evening's night prayer is taken from the ancient office of Compline, and it derives its name from a Latin word, word completorium, meaning completion. It is a service of reflection before rest at the end of the day. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We had followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and most merciful God, grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world we pray, That with thy wanted favour thou Wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, From nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, That no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, Through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Psalm 52 Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endureth continually, Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. 
Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy thee for ever. He shall take thee away, and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. The righteous also shall see and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God for ever and ever. I will praise thee for ever, because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before saints. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come unto me, all ye that labour, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. And now for our reading. The reading comes from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do which is that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honour to whom honour. Owe no man anything, but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, 
it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbour. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. We will now offer our prayers to the Lord Almighty. In our prayers this evening, we remember uh, our minister Adideo, who was licensed by the Bishop of Buckingham this afternoon. Let us pray. Generous God, you are the source of all holiness. As we wait on you and listen for your call, grant us the desire and equip us with the means to explore the extent of your love. We wonder at your son's healing powers, the time he gives to every single thing he does, and the way your gifts to us can be shared with others. Help us to discern how best we can return to a proper relationship with you, through the example of others and a love for you. In our church, part of your worldwide church, create in us, we ask, a generosity of spirit which does you justice, a certainty that gives us hope, and a love which shows no boundaries. Let the abundance of the life you have given us shine out, and may that abundance be shown and shared with all those we meet in the forthcoming week. Lift up our eyes so that we can see the radiance of your creation. Open our eyes to how we are harming your world. Focus our eyes on what we must do to preserve and conserve what you have made. We pray especially for the recent G7 meeting and that those leaders of nations will carry forward their promises to improve the world in their countries. May your love radiate out through what we can do in your name. We pray for the sick and the infirm, the troubled and the depressed. As you have given hope to humanity, pour your compassion at this time on those in urgent need of prayer, including those waiting for remedial operations in hospital that have been delayed due to the pandemic. Let the carers also be sharers in your ministry and passion. We pray also for those who have died, remembering especially those who have sadly succumbed to the COVID virus. As we give thanks for their lives, we ask that you give hope to the hearts of those who mourn. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this 
fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being dis defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We will lay us down and take our rest. For it is thou, O Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and preserve us tomorrow, and in the days and the years to come. Amen. Amen.